Hey everybody, it's Kate and Wendy here, getting on board with Canada and Walmart. Today we are all about Canada and Walmart, and here's why. Lately you may have been hearing a lot about bisphenol A, an organic compound that mimics estrogen that has been used in the making of plastics, including Nalgene, um, some baby bottles, a lot of other things. There are not conclusive studies on humans um, about the effects of bisphenol A, because not surprising, no, no one has been like, hey, yeah, shoot me up with bisphenol A, I want to see what happens, because in lab rats it does some pretty nasty things. However, the NIH and the, I keep forgetting the name of this, the Tox U.S. National Toxicology Program have concerns, some concern about BPAs and the effect on fetal and infant brain and behavior. This I find troubling. Some doctors are considering caution. Um, recently, on April 18th, Canada's health minister said that Canada is going to ban the import, sale, and advertising of all baby bottles containing BPAs, and Walmart's pulling them. So you got to think there's something to this if Walmart's pulling them. So I'm going to go out on a limb here. It's not even a limb. I'm going to go and say that baby bottles that are BPA-free, bisphenol-free, are must-haves. Um, these are made by Born Free. It's a company that um, has its products at Whole Foods and other places. This is uh, bottles by Medela. They now also are BPA free. BPA free, free bottles and sippy cups. And Green and Clean Mom has a great review of, of uh, sippy cups that don't contain BPAs on her website. They're a baby must have. Alright, everybody, drink safe. <laughs>